Since 2003, December 9 has been set aside by the United Nations Convention as International Anti-Corruption Day. The day is used to raise awareness about the threats posed by corruption to the stability and security of societies. In Abuja, different anti-corruption groups mark the day with a campaign on the need for citizens to rally around the government in the fight against corruption. To continue to make the argument of selectivism, of, of uh, persecution, is the narrative of the corrupt. It's the corrupt that has that narrative. Every time you catch somebody, the rich especially, they become, we begin to talk about presumption of innocence. Members of the Corruption, Injustice and Abuse of Office Awareness Group also gather in this hall for a press conference to advocate the urgent need for interagency collaboration in order to ensure that corrupt people are punished. The things of corruption, the scourge of injustice and the spell of abuse of office have devalued the positive and effective contributions and sense of patriotism of the ordinary citizens to the national development. We will advise the federal government to make effort to attempt the following ideas, which we believe will reduce the act of corruption drastically. The government should understand the different kinds of corruption and create pathways that give citizens relevant tools to engage and participate in the government. According to the United Nations, one trillion American dollars is paid in bribes globally every year. An estimated 2.6 trillion dollars are also stolen annually through corruption, a sum equivalent to more than 5% of the global GDP. The United Nations report also states that corruption could be a major challenge to achieving the sustainable development goals by 2030 by most countries, as funds lost to corruption, especially in developing countries, are estimated to be 10 times the amount of spending for development projects.